the pharmacy benefit manager gives a tier pricing. That tier pricing is not based on what drug is best for you. It is based on what drug is best for their financials. And so they prioritize drugs in a tier pricing under the misnomer to the American people that a tier one drug is the best drug and a tier four drug is not as good, right? But the truth is a tier four drug is not as profitable because there's a lesser rebate. And so, so let's say, let's go back to the insulin example. The average price of this insulin is $381 is what the Senate uh, Finance Committee found. $381 on, I can't remember if it's Sanofi, I think, was their, uh, was their price. Out of that, the pharmaceutical company got less than $40. So that remaining 200 something dollars stayed at the pharmacy benefit manager. Okay, pharmacy benefit managers are making billions upon billions of dollars a year. They decide what gets covered, what goes on your insurance plan, what your copay is, what your deductible is, and they can move any lever at any time. So examples, let's go back to GLP-1s, right? The, uh, the weight loss diabetes medications. Those are showing up on insurance plans as tier four with a really high price tag. Well, you look at that and you go, man, wouldn't insurance companies want to get rid of that because it's costing them a lot? No, because they're showing that the price of a GLP-1 is $1,300. They never paid $1,300. They paid a fraction of that. But then they go to the patient and they say, hey, this is a tier four drug. 